Hello and welcome to Mike Blucas Christmas Movies. Mike Blucas might be known for Night and Day and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but today we're going to look at his Christmas movies. Mike's been in a total of four Christmas movies and we're going to get into one right now, starting with Miss Christmas. It's nicknamed Miss Christmas, the official tree finder for Chicago's renowned Radcliffe Tree Lightning, is left desperate to find the perfect tree. A letter from a young boy promising that his tree is perfect sends her to a small town where she learns the young boy's dad, this is Mike Lucas, isn't willing to part with his tree while Sparks Flash is forced to confront what she really what she's really been missing. Now I've seen this one, it's good as well, and the tree they get is awesome. Yeah, she like she has to pick this, this perfect tree for where she works and uh, basically a lot of things happen and um, she has to find one right at the last minute. Who comes to the rescue? A little boy. Yeah? Worth watching, guys. But, a little trivia for you, yeah? Whenever photos of the McNary family, grandmother, are shown, yeah? She's the woman who plays yeah, the grandmother, yeah? Uh, to the young boy and that. Yeah? It's the actress, Barbara Niven. That is shown, yeah? She's the grandmother in the photos. But Barbara Niven never played no part in the movie. She wasn't in the movie, but it just shows photos of her. Yeah? So there's a bit of trivia for you guys. Barbara Niven, if you're not sure who she is, she's a, a talented actress who's known for Hallmark movies. Goof about the movie, guys. During the tree lightning in Chicago at the beginning, the surrounding deciduous trees in the plaza, I think I just said that wrong, of, ho of all the leaves, yeah, have got all the leaves and the green. Yeah? Deciduous trees lose the leaves during winters in Chicago, which is pretty much like every tree around the world that I know of anyway, especially in my own town. Next, guys, is Good Morning Christmas. I've also seen this one. It's about two squabbling TV hosts. Yeah, they sent to a festive small town over Christmas, but while pretending to get along for the sake of appearances, they discover there's more to each other than they thought. Yeah, they both like kind of want the main role as the main like horse, but they've got to work together. But a bit of trivia for you guys. Yeah, did did you know that Alison Sweeney, who stars in this movie, yeah, Good Morning Christmas, and Mark Lucas also portrayed love interests in an earlier Hallmark Channel movie, The Irresistible Blueberry Farm, which came out in 2016. If you've not seen it, guys, get it watched. It's a good film. And the goof about this movie is although done deliberately, Jennifer mistakenly calls Tyler, Taylor. When the two of them overhear Mel and Brian's private conversation over the show sound system. Yeah, so there's a bit of a goof for you guys. And if you if you like any of these movies, if you're a fan of Mark, comment below, let us know, yeah, um, what's your favourite movie of his. And um, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. But let's continue, because Holiday for Heroes is next. Yeah, the plot her, basically she owns evolves so then the woman and the soldier who exchange letters for a year before their worlds collide. Sergeant Matt Evans. Yeah. She's it's, sending him coffee and he writes her a thank you it's, letter. It's a good movie, guys. Okay um, he, he basically. Your brother Devin gave me your address, he's in Afghanistan, so yeah. He's a sergeant in Afghanistan in the army. And, and he gets a bag of whole roasted so coffee from one of his mates who got it from his sister. I'm so happy you like the coffee. And. They, they exchange letters at night and when he finally gets to go home because he's stationed near the um, where she works, she works in like a coffee house, like a little cafe, coffee house kind of thing, yeah, and he bumps into her, um, but then he's obviously going to go back away and um, that is like a main event, holiday for heroes and um, I think it's getting cancelled, so she takes it upon herself to, um, to, to plan it anyway. And um, yeah, so I'm not going to go, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, it's worth a watch, guys. Next up, guys, is another military Christmas movie, and it's called Operation Christmas. A single mother and her daughter try to help other military families after being inspired by their own difficulties and their efforts go viral. Um, basically, they want to give back. But did you know, a bit of trivia for you, yeah, the Whistler... Whistler is an actual resort town located 75 miles north of Vancouver, British Columbia. 
It's an hotel, yeah, Whistler Fairmont, Fairmont Chasseau Hotel. Yeah, a bit of, there's a bit of trivia for you guys. And the goof, the major, in the quarter is also, is also wears Staff Sergeant Stripes, yeah? So the major, yeah, the quarter also wears Staff Sergeant Stripes, yeah? That's a bit of a goof, yeah? But that is our list for the Mark Blucas Christmas movies, yeah? Be sure to let us know what your favourite movie is down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed it as always. And thanks for watching guys. Until next time, goodbye.